Hey guys, welcome to oddsmarket.com. I'm Natalie Rydstrom. Uh, Martin Green is with us. So we're taking a look at the Premier League outright. So obviously we head into the second okay. part of this of this season. Uh, Chelsea obviously are leading Liverpool right behind, followed by Man City. The question is, is who is going to win the Premier League and is there money to be made right now? Are the odds good enough? Martin, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, I think I can't look past Chelsea, really. And that's mm. quite an obvious answer. But, I mean, the team that's top on New Year's Day invariably goes on to win it. Uh, Chelsea are just looking so strong in all departments at the moment. Since they switched to three at the back, they've just been unplayable. And I just don't really think the chasing pack has what it takes to catch up. Liverpool and Man City both look a bit too leaky in defence. Arsenal don't look like they've got the mental strength to get the job done. Tottenham's away form's letting them down. And I think Man United are a bit too far behind already to make up the difference. So can't look past Chelsea. And about 1.66 you can get on them looks a good price. Yeah, the five points at the moment, um, I think, is what separates though Chelsea from Liverpool. There is still a chance, if there were to be an outsider, uh, sort of a without Chelsea sort of bet, uh, who would it be? Uh, I just think Liverpool, uh, well, Liverpool just drew their last game. So Chelsea have got a game in hand on them. Mm. I just think they're a bit too, they're a bit too shaky at the back for me to have much confidence in them at the moment. I, I, I feel the same way with Man City. I mean, I'm an Arsenal fan, so I probably shouldn't say it, but Arsenal finished second last year and I can see them creeping back up into second place. Although I don't think they'd have what it takes to overhaul Chelsea. But but for top two, I think they look pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Arsenal as well, only uh, four points behind uh, second place there. Uh, so uh, if, if you had to sort of predict uh, first, second, third and fourth, and then obviously the top six, um, what would it be? OK, so I would go, well, Chelsea, I think, look nailed on to win it. I think also Liverpool don't have to deal with the pressure of playing in the Champions League. Mm -hmm. So I think they can make the top three along with Arsenal. And then it, it, it comes down to a fight for me between Man United, Man City and Tottenham to reach the top four. Everyone had Man City as pre-season favourites to win the title, but... Their form of late has just been dreadful. They've lost four of their last seven and they've looked very unconvincing. They are the favourites out of those three to make the top four. But I'd be looking at Tottenham and Man United to break in. You can get 1.91 on Tottenham and 2.1 on Man United. Both both teams in good form, but I can I can just about see Man United pipping them thanks to their um, recent upsurge in form. So... I'd go Man United for top four and then Man City and Tottenham for top six. All right, great stuff. Des. Now let's have a look at the relegation market. Not a huge amount of value here uh, to play unless you're going to go for an outside bet. Hull, 1.13. Swansea, 1.33. Sunderland, 1.4. Interesting, the fourth favourite is Burnley, but their home form is just too good and will, will, won't will allow for them to be relegated. Uh, they just need to pick up their away form. Uh, but there is some value in Crystal Palace, 5.5. Uh, they currently are 16th, sorry, 17th. Um, they've got 16 points, just a point more than Sunderland. Um, do you think it's just the, the three, Sunderland, Hull and Swansea? Could there be an outsider? I think you'd be, you'd be very worried if you're a Hull fan right now. They look pretty much down. I'd be worried for Swansea as well. Paul Clement would have to pull off a miracle to keep them up. Then Sunderland. I'm not convinced that Sunderland will go down. They got off to the worst premiership start anyone's ever had. And they sort of pulled themselves out of it of late and really sort of made up a bit of ground on the teams above them. With Jermaine Defoe, they've got a goal scorer and that can make all the difference down at the bottom of the table. I can't see, I can't see Crystal Palace going down now that they've got Sam Allardyce in charge. So, and I think Stoke and Leicester are too good. So I'd be a bit more worried if I was a Middlesbrough fan at present. They're only four points ahead of Sunderland and they're not quite as good going forward. So I think the value could be on Middlesbrough at uh, five five point zero. All right, great stuff. Uh, that's Martin Green. Stay tuned, more videos coming up right up.